I'm going to talk about electrical power. Power is current times voltage, or P is I times V. Let's just take an ordinary battery. It's got four cells, each 1.5 volts, so the total voltage is 6 volts. Quite a powerful cell then, quite a powerful battery. Well, no, because the power is zero. What? Well, the power is current times voltage, and there's no current flowing just yet, so the power is zero times six, which is zero. Zero watts? Well, yes, zero watts of power. Watt is the unit of power. So I've got to plug it into something. Got to get a full loop going. I'm going to put a motor uh, connected to either end of this battery. Yep, measure the current, measure the voltage. Current was two amps and the voltage, six volts. Now the power is two times six, it is 12 watts. No, not that, 12 watts. Named after James Watt, so it's a capital W. Well, what is power? Any power is the rate of transfer of energy. It's energy divided by time. How quickly do we use energy? That's what you can see power as being. So let's take a for example. Here's a kettle. The kettle's a mains appliance, so the voltage is 240, and we measure the current is about 8 amps. So what's the power? Well, power is current times voltage. So it's 8 amps times 240 volts, which is about 2,000 watts, approximately 2,000 watts, 2 kilowatts. That means, power is energy divided by time, that means it uses 2,000 joules per second. 2,000 divided by 1 second, 2,000 joules per second. It's a heating appliance, so it uses quite a lot of energy. It uses quite a lot of energy quite quickly. That's how we get heating. Well, unlike a TV, which is not a heating appliance, which, although it's a mains appliance, does not use a lot of energy in a little time, it uses energy less rapidly, so it's got a lower power. And your TV, even though it's quite a big appliance, it's only about 500 watts. But hang on a minute, you're going to leave it on for a lot longer time than your kettle, so you're going to be using a similar amount of energy overall.